Hello everyone. So <clears throat> it's almost ten o'clock at night here and I guess I'm turning in. Um so somebody gave me a little um two dollar uh gift card at Dunkin' Donuts and um uh, I'm surprised everything turned out well and um uh, <clears throat> I went and took a short little walk today around the um around the um you know the hotel complex <clears throat> let me I got out a little bit um today and um um I last night I don't think I slept that great <clears throat> um so I'm surprised they gave me a break last week with allowing me to sleep. And I thought it was the granola bars I was eating. <clears throat> but now it seems like, um, excuse me, seems like as if everything, um, is turning back to, um, you know, <clears throat> I don't even know. If, if the gang stalkers, if they have a little mercy on us, a little bit of temporary mercy on us every once in a while. <clears throat> so, um, last night and the night before, I didn't get to sleep that great. But I hope I can sleep tonight. And, um, I'm glad that I got that burden off of my chest about the stuff I talked about <clears throat> but you know it seemed like with the foster care abuse and the stories and stuff and the stuff that I witnessed and experienced and overheard and stuff you know I don't think I'm gonna do an autobiography book I think I'll just you know talk about my um you know I'll just you know, talk about my experiences on YouTube, and it's not about me telling all my business, or me gossiping, or talking bad about people, some people try to make like, oh, all you do is sit around and talk bad about people all day, every day, <clears throat> and when I clear, when you clearly see me just talking about my experiences with gang stalking, I'm not trying to bad mouth I mean, not tr intentionally trying to bad mouth or backbite or gossip or complain. A lot of us are speaking out against, you know, our own torture experiences. And they're never going to stop. Never going to stop until we die. We're in this program until we die. Because some people are that money hungry. <clears throat> and so... It seems like, you know, they're ramping everything up. They're ramping it up. And everything's just getting worse and increasing. And, you know, Bill Gates wants us depopulated anyway. <clears throat> he does. I mean, somebody should go after him and put him to a stop. That he, I mean... This man is still running free, <clears throat> and not many people are going after him. It seems like people are more angry at Anthony Fauci than Bill Gates. <clears throat> um, about the COVID-19 thing, you know, I can't really say too much because, you know, um, but, I, I mean, me trying to keep my channel, um, <clears throat> Or my videos going so I really hate to um, walk on eggshells or tread lightly or, or whatever I mean I wish I could just air out everything I mean I might have to just go on my blog but I mean I was looking back at some of my past videos within the past couple of months and realized you know, all the thumbs down and hate that I got. And it just made me feel a certain kind of down. 
that I would get 12 thumbs up, but then 14 thumbs down. <clears throat> and it's like, where is my support? If I just have more enemies than supporters, that's watching my videos. And it's like, I'm tired of, you know, being made to look like a clown or made to look like a fool or like I'm wasting my breath. <clears throat> and, you know, other targeted individuals, it's like, where are they? But, you know, the so-called community is a joke. And a lot of this stuff is happening to us. So why do they go and hurt and oppress others? I don't understand. And I'm going to keep questioning it. Why um, the hate is so strong. Like hate and jealousy. And uh, no way can this be a home of 144000 It's just no way. And I've talked about this before. <clears throat> and I don't see other targeted individuals on YouTube and stuff like that getting all these thumbs down and make me feel like I'm saying something wrong. <clears throat> and it's like some of the perps admit that they slander me. They admit that they made up lies on me and they brag about it because, you know, they got what they wanted for me to be eliminated and destroyed. It's like there's a special... Even if you are a targeted individual, why the hell do you defend? Why do you defend the Freemasons? Why do you defend the police? Why do you defend the FBI? Why do you defend the UN? <clears throat> why do you defend the New Age movement and Satanism? Why do you defend evil? Why do you defend, I mean, why do you defend um, somebody else's, um, I mean, why, why do you defend somebody else trying to, um, you know, slow murder another human being? If you're going through the same torture yourself, I don't get it. <clears throat> and, and it's like, even another targeted individual doesn't want another targeted individual to have just the smallest little bit of freedom or happiness. None of it. And it's like if one feels jealous that another person can, you know, enjoy a, a bit of fresh air and, and then you try to tear that other targeted person down because you're dealing with the noise harassment and can't take it and so you try to shut them down on because of the little bit of silence that they get or the little bit of time that they can smile for once but then y'all the same ones always talk about how I need to count my blessings and stop being negative and when I try to enjoy myself at the beach, or if I try to enjoy a healthy salad, you jump down my throat about that. If I enjoy a little steak dinner, you have a problem with that too. If somebody else pays for a night in my hotel room, you got a problem with that too. <clears throat> so, I mean, I'm not supposed to be either happy or sad. And I, I'm pretty sure there are some others. Um, like they had this other targeted individual on Twitter. And I felt bad that, she, you know, she was pretty much screaming for her voice to be heard. And for her truth to be spoken as well. <clears throat> but at the same time, I was the only one that I saw. It could have been other people, but I was the only one that I saw that tuned in and listen so it's like it's not freaking fair that the popular fakes get so much recognition and attention and financial donations and money and help and everything and 
and but then you know the people who are really struggling the ones who tell me that they're dying <clears throat> like this one targeted individual i know she's legit and i don't want to tell too much of her story you know because um you know i respect her privacy you know so but she told me that she, she's dying and i feel helpless that i wish i could there was something i can do and a few other targeted individuals have told me that they're dying and other targeted individuals told others that they're dying or that the gang stalkers are trying to kill them and I feel powerless and helpless. And this person, I know, I mean, I can tell, you know, after we talk for a while that she's legit. And so she said that a lot of the Christian people have falsely accused her of being a scammer. And I'm like, wow, what has the church come to? But the people who really are scammers, they're glad to give them the money. <coughs> Excuse me. They're more than glad to give them the money without question, you know. What would happen if Joe? If nobody gave Joe Osteen money, nobody. If nobody gave bought Joyce Myers fake lying books. What if they were homeless on the streets, suffering and heavily targeted? Or people like Gazy and Hora Beyonce. What if they were ignored and hated and nobody listened to their music? <clears throat> what if nobody watched Denzel Washington's movies? But nah, it's the wicked and the fakes and phonies get the most attention and worship. Nobody says that Kim Kardashian doesn't need all that money but it's like a lot of us just trying to get just basic survival basic survival and we get shunned for that because we're supposed to be a nobody or just less than people less than human <clears throat> and we're supposed to be everybody's mk ultra marionette on a string This whole world is just backwards and twisted, <clears throat> twisted in so many knots. And, you know, the deception and the conspiracy, the delusion <clears throat> is <clears throat> the witchcraft spell is just so strong, so strong. I don't get it. And, you know, I'm thankful and glad that for the majority of this month, I get to have a hotel room. Um, I mean, I, it was just an emergency for, ho I mean, for Hurricane Delta that we thought was going to hit. Even New Orleans thought they were, thought it was going to hit. So, there was some emergency housing, but I'm glad that I was able to finally have a mental respite and rest my mind. And looking at my videos, it looks like as if they gang stalk me more and follow me around when I'm homeless on the streets. Um, but I'm thankful and glad I've been able to have most of the time some peace here. But I'm not even allowed to have that. So, it's, I mean, same people who hate humans, I got attacked and jumped on when last week when I said I'm so sick and tired of people worshiping animals and worshiping their pets. I mean, I never said you couldn't love your pet or care about your pet, <clears throat> but so many people you know they they want they want you to um 
it's like people's pets are getting more financial donations and support on GoFundMe than, you know, a child with cerebral palsy that's dying or a child that with cancer that's growing so fast or leukemia or something. People who lost a loved one and, 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 you know, can't even get, I mean, struggling for, for funeral payments for a human, but freaking, I mean, meaningless stuff, get the most support and get the most boost up on GoFundMe when the people who are truly need help or to get ignored. Like, who the hell cares about fundraising for a basketball game? And that gets so much overwhelming. Like, I don't understand, you know, for a basketball game or because you, you want to take your child to a Disneyland trip or, <clears throat> or, or you, or, or, um, you know, your dog, <clears throat> your your dog had cut his um his little paw, so you want to raise a GoFundMe about that? Or oh, I've seen people. The big scam nowadays is people lie and say that they tested positive for COVID nineteen, and they get their boost up like that too. But hardly any targeted individuals who put up a GoFundMe. I'm not the only one. It's a lot of us be, who need help and been ignored. Ignored. And it's like, you know, yeah, Stars 15K used it against me and threw it in my face and said, that's why nobody reads your blog and stuff like that. Well, she's fucking stalking and reading it. So, um, it seems like the only time people pay attention to me is when it's to hurt or punish me or when I owe bills or something, or if I owe something, that's the only, the only thing I'm on when I'm on their mind. Um, and so, you know, targeted individuals ignore and dismiss each other. But then they holler about targeting T.I. lives matter or targeting individual lives matter. Only the popular fakes lives matter. And ours don't mean shit because we ain't human. We're lower than human because we're not new agers. And we're not witches and warlocks like the popular fakes. And even some of the ones who lie and say that they're Christian and then they'd be into um new age and witchcraft part of some cults and stuff and pretend to front like they're heavily targeted when nothing's really wrong with them. And then pretend to over exaggerate and fake like they're the most targeted person in the world. Like nobody can be more targeted than them. Fake T.I. perps. Go fry in hell. Bye.